This evening, as the weather gets colder, the city says it helps to start getting people out of homeless camps and into shelters. Lauren Maxwell is live at Cuddy Park tonight. Lauren, tell us what people are saying. Well, as you might imagine, there are plenty of people who don't want to sleep outside in the cold. The city says it's prepared to offer temporary rooms in hotel rooms and also a larger shelter. But there are some people who aren't ready to accept that help, including here at Cuddy Park. The lot next to Cuddy Park is full. A recent count found 70 tents and more than 50 vehicles, many in a state of disrepair. But despite the bleak circumstances, not every camper is ready to go. I've been there going on three years. As Kyla Friedenbloom gathered supplies from a community outreach event at the Lusak Library. Pancho, you want a green one also? Yeah. She told us she'd love to leave her leaky tent. But there's something holding her back. She's worried she won't find a place that will take her and her cat. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to give up the cat. That's just not me. So, but I, I would consider, you know, trying to find another option for the cat if I really had to. Outreach workers are asking people the question. Would you be interested in accessing emergency cold weather shelter this winter? The response? It seems to be about 50-50. This man says he'd take an apartment and, and a job. I got my driver's license, my ID, so okay. just need to get my feet in the door. But many are leery about returning to a large shelter. You know, people were doing drugs and all kind of stuff that was happening there that care. made it like a trigger point and unsafe. I'd go for the hotel, but not shelter, because when I stayed at the shelter a year and a half ago, I, I cut bugs, and I went to the hospital and got treated. So I, I don't... I'd rather sleep in a tent than go to the shelter. The city says once enough shelter space is available, camps such as the growing one at Cuddy Park are likely coming down. Kyla Friedenbloom says if that happens, she and her cat will have to go. Until I can find someone to rent to me or, you know, I don't know what else to do, you know. Just find a new place to put up my tent. It's a move she's hoping they won't have to make. Now, as far as abating camps go, the city says their first priority is downtown, the one at 3rd and Ingra, followed by a smaller one in Muldoon at Chance New Park. And then if there's still shelter space that's available, they'll consider abating the one here at Cuddy Park. And Lauren, do we know when hotel rooms for use for people experiencing homelessness are expected to open up? Well, the uh, Anchorage Assembly still has to approve the contracts for those, but if all goes according to plan, they say they could be open and ready as early as October 16th.